Tom and Paul's Fuzzbox, starring Tom as Paul and Paul as Tom. Episode 5, The Fish Finger of Truth. Happy Christmas. I don't believe in Christmas. What, what do you mean you don't believe in Christmas? It's like, it's, it's, it's tyranny, isn't it? It's oh. like, it's like God, religion, you know, the whole... God and state, it's weighing you down. Here we go, here we go. What do you, what do you mean it's weighing you down? Because, do you, you know what? Christmas is a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing, Tom. Yeah? It's about presents. It's about, it's about parties and tinsel. It's about Santa. That's what it's about, Tom. It's about Santa. Don't you believe in Santa? I can't even bear to go to a carol service because it's, it's freaky, man. It's like all these... It's, it's religious. Religion is a lie. It's, it's based on a lie, isn't it? It's deception. Tom, do you honestly? It's like, do you fear holy water? I mean, when holy water touches your skin, does it burn, Tom? No, it's because like, it's does a it, does it burn? Tish tosh. So you weren't happy with the with with the present I got for you today, then? With the, with the jumper, I I wouldn't be wearing a snow scene jumper in a restaurant. When, where everyone else is wearing posh frocks or designer jackets, if I could help it. Mm, it's, it's true. I have, I have to say, it's. I am, I am getting a bit of a funny vibe in here, Tom, actually. Yeah, and we are getting a few looks. But you know what? I really You're wearing a bloody reindeer outfit, you idiot. <sighs> well, I like reindeers. It's Christmas, Tom. <sighs> oh my god. Is it me or does it smell funny in here? Have you let off? No, I don't think so. I f- oh! <sighs> Do you know, I was wondering, why is this place called Trash? Hey, hey Paul. Yeah? Can, yeah, what? Look over there. What, just, where? Just be over my shoulder, don't look. Okay. Don't look. Right, don't look, Liz, if you're looking, but have a look. Alright, look, but don't look. Oh my gosh! Isn't it? Oh, is that Melinda Mexico? Oh yeah, off the telly. Oh my god, she's beautiful. I know. Oh, do you know what? <gasps> Tom, there is actually quite a few celebs in here. I've got to say. Really? Mm-hmm. Hang on, hang on. Mm-hmm. That there's um, Nigel Rochford in there. Yeah, yeah, Nigel Rochford. Yeah, yeah, he was on TV last night, and over there is Jason Carrot. Jason Carrot. <laughs> no, you're right. Oh, God. No, you're right. Blimey. Oh, my God. <laughs> there's, hang on, there's a picture here of... Um, what's her name? Who's that? What? Oh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's... Um, that's Boudica Latrine. Yeah, yeah, she's Ast- Astrogard's variant's girlfriend. Partner. Um... They're like an avant-garde artist. Oh, right. Oh, I see. So she's the one that owns this place, yeah? I saw this exhibition once. Yeah, right? yeah. You've got to imagine an enormous, great hall. Like a, it's like, you know, bigger than an aircraft. Uh, I don't know, it's very, very big. Very big, and it's yeah. it's all painted completely white. Yeah, yeah. And you walked in there and you kind of got snow blind, you know. Mm-hmm. It's like... Everything's white anyway, and you can't sort of orientate yourself, and you keep walking. Mm. It's like almost like being in the desert, or you know, the Antarctic, or something. <laughs> you know, walking, walking. Yeah. It's so huge, and there's nothing. And then after about spending an hour in there, losing the will to live, yeah. right in the middle, yeah. one garden pea, 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 pea. Really? Oh my God! Do you know what I read about that? exhibition in the paper she sold that pea for about two million two million to um yeah to agnes hines um, oh yeah yeah and that's then right. agnes's parrot at the pea <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> unbelievable uh but apparently uh Boudica gave her another pea sort of a blessed pea like a, a holy relic you can have this pea madam Wow. To make up for your two million pounds. God, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Doesn't, doesn't she... Way to make money, isn't it? I was thinking, doesn't she... Um, I read that she steams her vagina. 
Pate de fish finger. And you know, it's apparently some really good for you. Refound fish fingers mashed into a pulp with added extras. Contents may vary. Ooh. Sounds interesting. What's this? Uh, oh, salad de bubblegum. Salad de bubblegum. Oh, it's vegan. Um, where's that? All oh, right. Yeah. Pre chewed pink bubblegum f- frozen in dry ice, creating a brittle delight. Ooh, that sounds. Because I like that. I like the sound of that. Yeah. It's. Um, Oh, that's 148 quid. Yeah, Soup yeah. to Oreo, 137 quid. Oh, oh my god. Do you know what that sounds nice, Tom? The sweet hit of the Oreo plus the seasonal warmth of a thick broth. Guaranteed refound ingredients. That sounds really good. Confit de Whiskers, 175 quid. The classic food iron treat repurposed by our chef into a meaty culinary delight. Mm. Do you know what? I'm going to have the salad, the bubble gum, you know. Yeah. Do you know what? There are no Christmas dishes. Have you noticed that? Uh, what's going on with this menu? I was wondering. Yeah, I was wondering it's that. Pretty, it's, it's very arty. Hmm. What's this? Hang on, there's a statement here. Presumably from Booty Killer Tree. Mm. Our mission, roughly one third of all food, is wasted. To save the planet, we must husband our resources with innovative thinking. Right, Trash was founded to challenge outdated and restricted attitudes to food hygiene. Using trash-based sources, our pioneering chefs have created a new landscape of culinary possibilities. Oh, oh, that sounds really good. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. You know, I get it. I get it. It's mm. all recycled food. Yeah. So of course there won't be any Christmas dishes till uh, after Christmas. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, I've got to say, you know, I mean, it, it sounds really, really good. It sounds different. It sounds original. Yeah, I'm up, I'm up for this. Well, they're selling rubbish for a lot of money, so it's very Christmassy. Ugh, Tom, honestly, honestly, now come on, let's just get, just get into this. Come on, this is a treat. It's, it's my treat, okay? All right, my well, treat. For the main course, I'll have um, haricot orange avec mon oncle. 225 quid. Yeah, you're paying, mate. Yeah, do I. What's that? Oh, it's a traditional mix of baked beans with Uncle Ben's rice. Matured. It sounds good. Good choice, Tom. I think I'll have the Fritz Demi Burger. 205 quid. Chips and a half eaten burger. Pre chewed, no pickle. Inspired by the early life experience in sub Saharan Africa of Momo, one of her 17 foster children, Boudicca Latrine came up with the concept of her trash restaurant when out with her BFF famous friends, Gwyneth and Taylor. Her initial foray into the area was cut short following the untimely death by food poisoning of her consultant, the celebrity food taster, Seymour Chanda. But after a respectable hiatus, Boudicca came back with the freegan themed high dining experience of trash, which she hopes will become the first of a chain of discarded ingredient, jazz tinged diner studios. Who's that amazing woman? She's looking, she's looking at me. Wow, she's giving me the eye, man. No, no, Tom, you've got it all wrong. No, she's not. She's looking right at me. God, she's gorgeous. Tom, Tom, that is Boudicca Latrine. Come to trash. 
a wholly new eating development where fine dining meets conceptual art. We take the ingredients that others discard and turn them into gastronomic sensations that will live on in your senses forever. From our kitchens under the watchful eyes of Gaston Pease to our in-house trained staff, we offer an experience that will stay with you for a lifetime. Is this edible? It's, um, it's different, isn't it? I've got a bit of, a bit of carver up here. It's like, it's like a wrapper. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's ridiculous. Oh. <laughs> no, it's, um, it's nice. Is it different? Oh. It's like being a hunter. A hunter. It's mm. a killer. Hunters kill people, don't they? I mean, like they kill people as well as animals. Because mm. we're all hunters, right? We're hunters, and we need to go out and hunt fish fingers and get them so that we can control the world. Our world, do you understand? Fish fingers are golden, aren't they? They're golden brown. It's not a song, but the strang stranglers, you see, killers. This is what I'm saying. I've gone into the woods. I've got this thing. I've killed it myself, metaphorically, in a supermarket. Brought it here, mashed it to a pulp with my knife and my fork. And I'm eating it, and it's like, it's like. Oh. Bloody in my mouth. <sighs> All right, it's a, it's a fish finger, but you know what I'm saying? Tom, you're scaring me. Listen up, diners! This is the fish finger of truth. It's pointing at you, and you, and you, madam. The finger sees it all. The fish finger will blow your mind. It's the fish finger of truth. The fish finger of truth. Here, 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 here. It's the fish finger of truth. Everyone, do you, do you see it? It's the fish finger of truth. Fish finger of truth. Fish finger of truth.
Listening to Tom and Paul's Fuzzbox, starring Tom as Paul and Paul as Tom, with sound design and continuity by John Thursfield, music by John Thursfield and the legendary Shagpile. Drop by sometime to hear some more fuzzy fancies. Goodbye, goodbye, bye.